This clip is sponsored by Med Travelers. If you're an SLP interested in travel therapy, visit medtravelers.com to get started. What are the biggest changes that you've seen, let's just say in the last five years when it comes to autism inclusion and acceptance, and, and let's say mainly in the in the public school systems, what, what have you seen? Um, I think that varies. I definitely think it varies. I've worked um, since graduating. I've worked in two locations, in Washington, D.C. and in California. Those mm -hmm. two places are very different <laughs> in the way that they treat their autistic students. So both, both areas, both states have the like self-contained classrooms or have the classrooms that are mostly for the autistic students. I would say that in California, inclusion is more of a norm than in DC. Mm. In DC, most of those students stay in that classroom like the entire wow. time. Yes. Um, most of the students are not like they might go out for recess with other classes. Sometimes they don't even do that in D.C. So mm -hmm. um, there really has and as far as inclusion in the public school system there, at least in my experience, I haven't seen mm -hmm. as much as a change of a change. Um, there are like some teachers. I remember there's an amazing teacher. She was um, a pre-K self in self contained class she was a teacher there and she did such a good job of making sure that her students were involved everywhere in everything um but that was just her like she put in all the work mm -hmm. to make that happen which is part of why she was such an amazing teacher but it's not the norm throughout the throughout the schools in california i will say they do a better job of like letting the students go into like the general education population much more often um, the gen ed students are more aware of who these students are. The gen ed students include them more so than mm -hmm. I've seen in DC. So I think it, it varies. It might even vary by district, not even necessarily by state, but I have seen changes in discussions about it, but I think a lot of places are still waiting to figure out how to implement those things. And I will also say that I don't know a school right now that is not understaffed. And so I think that might have something to do with it as well. <laughs>